Hi, Mike from Doobly Doo Woodworks, here to tell you about uh, the Morgan bookcase we just got done installing. Uh, as you can see it behind me over my shoulder, it's an all poplar bookcase stained espresso and a dark espresso and top coated with uh, semi-gloss uh, polyurethane. It's a 10 foot wall, 8 feet tall, um, that uh, we enclosed a window that is in the center. Um, it has three drawers across the bottom and uh, we incorporated a nice window seat with some LED lights um, for our client. The entire project was fabricated at our facilities off-site and then brought in modularly and, and assembled during the installation. So, uh, on to the video. Enjoy the show. Uh, if you've never pulled up carpet before, 95% uh, of the time, uh, these houses have a tack strip, is what's holding the carpet down. Come out to the middle of the wall, away from a corner, and then simply just grab the pile of the carpet, give it a little push towards the corner, or towards the, uh, towards the baseboard, and then lift it up off the tack strip, and you can do that all the way down, and just fold it back from the wall. The pad as well, um, I'm keeping the pad just in place while I'm working here, just because it's a nice soft surface to sit on. Um, the next thing I'm doing is I'm uh, pulling out the old tack strip because they're basically one use. When you pull them out, you can't reuse them. Um, and the bookcase itself is going to sit here off of the wall out here to 14 inches um, as we're uh, building this in. So. Alright, so we've got the base plates down. Um, they're uh, currently drying under with uh, construction adhesive down to the slab. We've got some uh, big heavy books there to just uh, hold things down and not let them slide around too easy, make sure everything lies flat. The next step was to put up these cleats up on the wall that will uh, attach our columns up as this bookcase goes up. Um, they're basically mollied into the wall, uh, as you can see here, um, with uh, five screws and uh, mollies. However, uh, in some of these are on top of studs, so we didn't use mollies in that case, and just maul it and just screw them straight into the studs through the wall. These cleats are uh, set at the um, interior dimension of the columns. The back of the column is hollow, so that basically we have to bring these things in modularly. So it's basically built from sort of a Legos idea. Um, whereas we have cleats and we have recesses built into the different components of the bookcase um, so that it all just clicks together uh, with some adhesives uh, and some screws and some strategic areas where they won't be seen uh, and it should go in very quickly. All right, the first column is in. The backs are in. The first column is in, and the construction adhesive is drying. Taking a short break before we start putting in the second, third, and fourth. Okay, so we have the uh, first two columns in over here uh, on the right side of the project. We're getting ready to uh, put in the third and fourth column uh, before continuing on and building up uh, the floor boxes for the drawers. However, um, the third column in specific is a little special because it has electrics in it. Uh, the project is going to cover over that uh, outlet right there, so we're relocating it into um, another outlet that is uh, in the third uh, column and uh, along with the light switch that will operate a uh, set of LED lights that will be over top of the window um, for the window seat for uh, giving it a nice place to read uh, maybe when the light isn't as good uh, coming in through the window. So let's get back to work. Alright, so the drawer boxes are done uh, down below, and 
and uh, everything is wired in, so now it's time to get uh, put on the tops and the pop trim. Okay, the cabinetry is basically done. The drawers are in. Accordingly, the tack strip uh, over here. Um, pounded that back in. Now we're just bringing the pad back, which we'll cut back down to size, and then lay the uh, carpet back. Tack it down onto the tack strips once we've cut that to size. And then uh, we're ready just basically to put up all of the adjustable shelves and color this one done.